For advanced workloads, data center servers require the highest memory performance. DDR5 RDIMs increase memory bandwidth and capacity with new innovations and a new module architecture. With previous generation DDR4 modules, there's a single memory interface channel that delivers 64 bits of data each clock phase. In addition, there are 8 bits of ECC protection for a total of 72 bits. The burst length of a DDR4 DRAM is 8 clock phases per read write, so a single transaction will deliver 64 bytes of data, which is the length of a processor cache line. In DDR5, the DRAM burst length increases from 8 to 16 clock phases in order to increase channel efficiency. To maintain the same access granularity of 64 bytes, the DDR5 module is split into two independent subchannels. Each of these 40 bit subchannels has 32 bits of data plus 8 bits of ECC protection. The two channel DDR5 architecture not only satisfies the access granularity requirement, it also increases parallelism of memory operations, which boosts performance. The registering clock driver, or RCD, is a key component of DDR DIMMs as it is responsible for distributing the control plane, command address signals, as well as the clock to the individual DRAM devices. In DDR5, the command address bus, like the data bus, runs at double signaling rate. In addition to efficiency improvements, DDR5 delivers a major speed increase over DDR4 for more bandwidth. While DDR4 tops out at 3200, DDR5 DIMMs will launch at 4800 megatransfers per second. Given double data rate, this requires an RCD capable of a 2400 megahertz clock. Here we see in-system DDR5 RDIMMs with Rambus RCDs operating at a clock frequency of 2400 megahertz. A stress test shows full speed operation with zero errors. Rambus has over 30 years of experience in high performance memory solutions. Memory interface chips like the Rambus RCD are key to scaling DDR5 data rates to 4,800 megatransfers per second and beyond.